also sharing your words and uh, bringing the spirit of what Lowell Celebrates Kerouac is really about. Um, as Dan said, I'm Meg Smith. I live here in Lowell, Mass, and I uh, actually served on the festival board for a long time. And um, before I read, I just wanted to um, just mention that what makes the festival go are the people who volunteer their hearts, their hands, their minds, and their spirits all year long to make it go. We're in this wonderful space with folding chairs and, and a microphone that we could share our words, and that's because somebody put those things there. Me. So think about... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> I really wish I had a mute button right now. Anyway. Um, so if you love the festival and you want to see it continue to be as strong as it is and as vibrant, as wonderful as it is, please think of ways that you might be able to bring your talent and your strengths to it and check out their website at LowellCelebratesKerouac.org. Yes, yes, thank you. All, all thank your you. donations. So I'd like to read a couple of poems from one of my poetry books, The Scarlet Dancing, and I do have some of them here available um, for anyone who would like one, and I'm glad to sign it for you. So, this being October, and this being uh, a city that's filled with spirits, um, as Steve O'Connor, uh, my fellow Irishman and Lowell resident was uh, mentioning, and of course, being Irish, uh, we invented Halloween for you all. So Halloween and St. Patrick's Day. You're welcome. <laughs> and in fact, uh, we have Halloween because this is when uh, my people mark the end of the old year, the beginning of the new one, um, but we never do so without having a party to pay respects to all of the spirits of all of the people here and on the other side of the veil. Um, and I've been thinking a lot about those people as we pay tribute um, to so many of our friends um, in Lowell Celebrates Kerouac who, who are now on that side of the veil, but never really far from us. Um, this poem is called The Stolen Ghosts. This rushing, this green wind, their endlessness in telling, what should I say? Whom should I hold? Names wither in the air. The air is a trail of purple, the dark between skulls and the reaching of long fingers. We were this thread and a song. We were this story. And we broke away and drifted out and the tide did not push us back. Only me whom the cold air wreaths around. Someone's coming and warm. So keep rushing, rushing. Out tide, out tide. Thank you. I'd like to um, just read one other poem from this book. This poem is called The Perfect Cat. And years ago in Lowell, um, near where I live in the Highlands, there was a wonderful place, um, the St. Julie Asian Center, which was run by the sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, who also gave me my middle school education at Notre Dame Academy. And sadly, it's no longer here, um, but it was a great service too, and was strengthened by the local community. And one year they were having a fundraiser. They had these wonderful handmade plush cats that had tags on them. And the tags said in English, in Khmer, and in Vietnamese, um, which are but three of the languages that you will hear spoken every day here in Lowell, along with some Irish. Um, and it would say something about the cat, the, l the little plush cat. And it would say things like, I am a sleepy cat. I am a beautiful cat. And my favorite was one that said, I am a perfect cat. And this cat, had, they had button eyes that were glued on it. And one of the cat's eyes had fallen off. But it still said, I am a perfect cat. So this poem is called The Perfect Cat. Moon eye, button eye, hail of sequins and hissing threads, sutured in an unhissing mouth. Mouth of meows it is and opens, I am a perfect cat. The moon leaps from a sewing box, moon of moons, deep sea red, 
to overtake the cats as they sleep, and in the steam bath of fjords between men and women, oh, who in that bed is perfect? Inky musk, a cat wakes, whisper cat, and with sewn mouth of meows, one sequin eye in a pool of glue, with that one eye it stares and growls, I am a perfect cat. All the cats die for beauty. They fall from trees, from milk crates, and into the slim gutter outside the door. And all the cats cry out, Oh Bast, oh Nefertiti, oh Elizabeth Tail, arrive Bast. Save me from the soldiers who would drown me with an adulterous woman, from the priest who strapped me to Joan of Arc. O oh, bast of Betty Davis' eyes, I am climbing the side of heaven to you. O oh, bast, rebirth me, dump me out again. A wet mole lump onto, not on my work pants, damn it. O oh, saint of gutter cats, I am coming to you with my sewn mouth, and I cry out to heaven. I am a smiling cat. In heaven, Cats guard the couches they disemboweled, and the sparrows they spat up with Gloriana. Perfect cat, smiling cat, beautiful cat, crawl up and out of heaven and out of the watery mouth of soul. Thank you so much for listening. And just a quick shout out to our wonderful hosts here at the Old Worthen. Please tip them well and treat them well. We appreciate everything you're doing, uh, your hospitality, keeping us well fed and well watered. Please give them a hand as well. Thank you all, and be safe and happy wherever your travels take you this weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Meg Smith. Okay, let's keep it rolling.